That is why I, too, lodge a claim to the throne and why I think I am the more capable heir. Thank you for your speech, Tungdil Bolifar. The council may now ask questions. Right. Call up the fourthling. Yes, your question? Just so I get this right, you want to forge a weapon that is described in a book of fairy tales from the perished land to kill a demon that none of us has ever seen? I have most definitely seen it, Goingar, yellow belly shimmer beard. <laughs> <laughs> The Mega Andakai the Tempestuous translated the text, and she thinks we could kill the demon with keen fire. So now we're going to listen to Magi? Are we to risk our lives in the hope that she translated this text correctly and isn't just following her own agenda? I thought it was the Magi's fault that we're in this mess in the first place. I don't know Whoa. if you can say that per se. Didn't this tongue girl grow up with a Magus too? Right? You can't trust the Mejoy. It is their fault that the barrier fell. I don't trust them. Ugh. Yes, the dwarf from the second link kingdom over there. You say that a war against the elves Where will be Where is he? Madness. I can't s But how can such a young dwarf there. as you judge that? <laughs> You've hardly seen anything of the world, has he? It is true. There is much that I only know from books. But it is written that it is our duty to defend and protect Girdelgard, and that includes the elves. And don't the elves have the same enemy as we do? They could stand by us in battle. Why should we play into the hands of the enemy by attacking them rather than working against the enemy together? Well, that is true. Yeah, that is He's true. Right. The words of a clever warrior. But the point he is hates us, and we hate them, too. What is it they say again? My enemy's enemy is my friend. Go on, then. Nothing you say will convince anyone here. Well, I think I just convinced several people, mate, so you can fuck off. You really are a fourthling. I do not believe there has ever been a more unworthy heir to the throne of the High King. You are just wasting our time. It's true. I have nothing to present to you regarding my lineage that would eliminate all doubt. But is that really important? Shouldn't my deeds count for more than my lineage? Yeah. Let me prove what I can achieve. As long as he's capable. Well, when you put it that way, hey. lineage is important. Ah, fuck and you. if you aren't capable of anything, I have heard enough. The council has heard the words of both candidates and must now make its decision. Those of you who wish to see Tungdil Bolifar, the returning son from the Fourthling Kingdom, as my successor, raise your axe. Hey, we got some axes, or hands. Oh, that's a lot. Wish to see that's a lot. Tandagar Silverbeard from the Silverbeards, the King of the Fourthlings, as my successor. Hold on, they voted twice over there. Over here? They voted twice. Very good. What? <laughs> How's that loud? <laughs> Excellent. Here's to Gandagar. Long live our new High King. However, the result was not unanimous. And as Acting High King, I avail myself of my right to demand a contest between the aspirants. <laughs> what is this? But he won the ballot. That's the rules. The High King has the right to do so. Respect. He is still the High King. <laughs> Respect, Silence. bruv. Respect. You have heard the High King's command. Write down your challenge for the aspirants. That armor does look badass, I'm not gonna lie. Are you ready? The one that masters this task first will become the High King. 
It is an expedition. The trial is to lead a group to forge the axe keen fire in the Grey Range, which can then be used to fight against the Magus Nod on. Ah. An expedition <laughs> <That was> into <laughs> the <laughs> I was a bit of a uh, brilliant. It's a bit of a uh, can't be serious. That's what I call yeah, a that was a bit of a I bit of a strange a sound that the Hive King made. This one. <laughs> yes. Luck. <laughs> oh, he knows something that I don't. Clearly. But, my king, don't demand this of me. Why me, of all people? You are one of my best gem cutters, and I promise to support him. It should be a fair contest. Or should I break my word just because of you? But... You will go, Goimgar Shibabeard. Do not put us to shame. Follow Tungdil's instructions. Go, and come back in good health. And with that, our group is complete. Who have you chosen as Mason? Good day, gentlemen. Bavragar, the old drunkard. Old drunkard? He assured me he's the best stonemason here. The High King himself sent him. Well, I said I was precisely the stonemason you need. I didn't exactly say I was oh, sent no. by the High King. You let yourself be tricked by a drunkard. I don't want him with us. Rest assured, Boindil, I too could imagine better company. But Tungdil gave me his word. Yes, I gave you my word. And as long as you are capable of doing the stonework needed for Keenfire, you are welcome. Girdle Guard is at stake here. I wish you no ill fortune, Tungdil. But also, no good fortune. The throne belongs to me. And through my victory, Rackus will show the clans. Come on. The Take task is clear to the contenders. The first to forge keen fire and bring it back here has proven his abilities and will be our new High King to lead us in battle against Nod On. It will take months to complete the task. The journey to the Fiflings alone is a long and dangerous business. Dangerous, yes, but not necessarily long. Do you know the old tunnel system that connects the Dwarven Kingdoms? Tunnels are all well and good, but why should we get there so much quicker under the ground than over it? A knowing smile plays on the mouth of the advisor. Wow. Huh. They have tram cars. <laughs> da, 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 da. What our forefathers achieved here, isn't it? The kingdoms all work together. If we do the same, nothing is impossible. Here, here. Uh. I. I hope you understand me asking, but there seems to be bad blood between you and Boindil. There's nothing that will endanger our mission. We've just always hated each other. There's more behind it than commonplace hatred. Bavrigor doesn't react. His gaze is directed towards events that took place a long time ago. I still don't understand why you tricked me and why you were so set on coming with us. I have been the master of stone for more than 200 sun cycles. My work is admired all over Girdlegard. There has never been a better secondling mason than me. But today, I don't want to be remembered as a drunkard with the chisel trembling in my hand, but as Bavragor Amethyst 
undefeated master of stone who brought king fire to life. One last masterpiece. Yes, good go, good goes. Really should rain in your drinking. We need you in good shape. There are some who say I'm only the master of beer and not the master of stone anymore. But don't worry, I haven't forgotten. I can't forget, no matter how much I drink. Hmm, I wonder why we haven't seen any sign of Gandagar recently. Perhaps they took a wrong turn somewhere. I'm sure we'll reach the Fifthling Kingdom before them. We're not on the way to the Fifthlings. We are on the way to the Firstlings. We're probably already under the land of the Custodian. The Firstlings? Why? The Firstlings have been the best smiths in Girdlegard since the Fifthlings were wiped out. Only they can alloy Teonium and Palandium, which are actually mutually repellent. Anyway, we could use all the help we can get in the battle against Nodon and... And? Oh! Oh, damn! Damn, son! Way, scholar, what now? It's all your fault, you imposter. I was nearly killed, and for what? It is good that you are still alive. We need you for our mission. So you can steal a throne that doesn't belong to you? Hatred glints in the gem cutter's eyes, and for a moment, you think he's going to attack you with the courage of desperation. <sighs> I'm not interested in the title of High King. I am trying to save Girdlegard. Even if you don't believe anything else, you must believe this. I don't have to believe anything. I am here against my will. My own thoughts are my only remaining right. Enough! Gather up all the materials we can still save. If we manage to reach the Firstlings, we can get anything we're missing there. And it should be less than 200 miles to their stronghold. <laughs> I love the deadpan way you said less than 200 miles. <laughs> like what? Team, hello? After you have gathered together the materials, you begin to search for a way out. And after a sweaty climb, you reach a door adorned with runes. From here, you enter a large cave with a waterfall covering the sun-drenched opening. You walk through the waterfall one after another, and after the unintentional shower, you find yourselves in Weyan, near the enchanted realm of Oromyra. Okay. You find yourselves on a plateau, and the river which falls as a waterfall here hides the entrance to the underground rail network. It then flows past a forest, behind which... That must be Mifidadia. We'll go through the forest to the city and see if we can refresh our supply. Okay. Okay, I can dig it. I can dig it. Wow, Bafragor is so low on level. What? I wanted to use him as well. How is Glimgar more... Oh, whatever. I'm not going to ask. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay, so what have we got? So we're trying to get there. But we've got to go through here. Okay. Oh, there's a quest up there. Alright. Let's go to... Mifrandania. If you liked this video, please take a second to press the like button. If you'd like to see more, leave a comment below. Please subscribe to the channel to be made aware when there are more videos going up. Thank you.